When Seb, the solo developer of Cash Cow DX, sent me a review code for it a few days ago, there were no strings attached to it. He neither told me to review it, nor to show it in a video, just left it with me to have fun, only pointing out that there's no embargo if I felt like mentioning it anywhere. Now, that's a class act if you ask me, and I'd like to thank him for the opportunity. So thank you. That said, to be clear, despite getting the game for free, I do not let anyone pre-screen my videos or influence what I say in them in any way, which come to think of it, would be hella fun to witness. Cause my scripts are a jumble out of context chaos, half-constructed sentences, mixed with random facts and almost always not in any logical order. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here getting off the topic like a madman, is that I got a game for free, but everything I'll say will be of my own volition. So, what is Cash Cow DX? Well, it's a marvelous little callback to the 80s arcade classics. Greedy pickpockets stole your money, and you're out to get it back. And in that, it reminds me of Pac-Man or Bubble Bobble. No overcomplicated stories, animated sequences or intros, just you, your mission and the game. And from the very moment that you launch Cash Cow DX, it sends you back in time straight to the cigarette smoke-filled 80s arcades with its simple, utilitarian title screen followed by the attract mode, showing enemies, pickups, high score table and the snippet of auto gameplay. Exactly how it would have looked like on the cabinet. And since it pairs with past era-like appropriate sounds, music and overly cutesy graphics, all giving away those nearly perfect 1980s vibes, I couldn't help but smile when I first laid my eyes on it. And I'm happy to report that as predicted, gameplay follows the classic formula too. And it's as simple to grasp and understand as it is punishing to try to conquer. Now, saying that the cash cow is the moonding is a moon their statement. It requires you to muster all your strength and release your inner cow to be able to even attempt completing the first stage, let alone the whole game. You play as this cool little cow and it moves at breakneck speed, swooping left and right on horizontal scrolling stages, collecting scattered around the moony. Naturally, as you go about it, as gracefully as cows move, various enemy piggies will try to stop you in your moogress. I wouldn't go as far as saying that they're your nemoosies, but they definitely have smoothing moo against you. They move as fast as you do, so don't get discouraged first few or first 20-ish times even if you like me, failing at the first stage countless times in a row, as it takes time to learn how they act and respond to you before you get in the rhythm and start accumulating any real points. And I kid you not, it took me dozens of tries before I got to the 1-2. Died there promptly too, but that's beside the point. Because as ungodly the moon the Cash Cow DX is, it's equally as addicting and well thought out. From that point onward, I had the formula for completing the first stage all figured out. But what a silly potato of a cow miner is to do when chased by all the piggies, you may wonder? Well, there's the magical pig power-up that when collected allows you to teach them piggies an important lesson in mooners, and also farm some sweet sweet bonus points. Every 100,000 self rewards you an extra life. There's only one pig per stage though, so make sure to use it only when out of other options. The fact that you can complete the entire cash cow run in just a few moonets makes it the perfect title for me. I work all day and then make those videos, so having 20-30 minutes for gaming outside of one day on a weekend is all I can really hope for. And getting a tiny itty bitty bit better with each run is good enough for me to guarantee that I'll keep coming back to it. Oh, and I haven't even told you that there's free game modes available other than the practice that is, so arcade, endless marathon, which I feel should be called Moorathon, and gold rush speedrun. But since I'm currently working on getting to 1-3 in the arcade mode, I haven't unlocked this yet. I may not be as dexterous as I used to be anymore and Cash Cow's difficulty is definitely rooted in a golden era of arcades, but if these extra two modes are as fun as the main one is, then I'm sure that they'll elevate this melancholy-filled modern retro package even more. Now, I've praised Cash Cow for a while now, and I meant all I said about it, but it's not without its faults, I'm afraid. The attract mode, when it starts running, cannot be skipped. Any other kind of an intermission, be it level introduction or game over screen can, but attract mode can't. It seems odd, but since it's only 20 30 -ish seconds long, it's not too big of an issue. Also, and this one's a bit bigger, the game quit to desktop for me three times already, always after completing the first stage, as I was about to move to the second. It's still being polished and maybe something with my particular hardware configuration, but it happened, so I had to mention it. Finally, the third and last thing I'd personally like to see changed is either the addition of very easy difficulty or bringing the easy more in line with its name. Cause as it stands now, easy in Cash Cow DX is like ungodly in any other game. And I understand that it's by design, but I feel that it would be nice to have one choice allowing less agile players to familiarize themselves with the level layouts and their mechanics before they'll feel the need to jump to a higher difficulty to ramp up more serious scores. 
especially that those higher ones could be as tough as the dev could dream them up to be. To summarize, as much as I'd like to, I can't tell you to go out and purchase Kashkar DX. And not because it's not worth it. Because I think that as a retro trip to the yesteryears of our youth is priceless. Simply because I don't know the pricing of it yet. But if you grew up around the arcades, especially in the 80s, then it's definitely something that will spark up that flame of nostalgia in you. It releases on February 16th, so make sure to check the video description for a Steam link to add it to your wishlist. And when it's out, seriously consider if it's not something you'd like to compete in on a worldwide high scoreboard. I'm there on them now, but given how crap I am at those really demanding games, the score's laughable at the moment and I have to work on it. If you like the video, hit those like and subscribe buttons below. Smash them if you have to, it helps more than you could ever know. Also, I would like to thank you and all my amazing Patreon and YouTube members for helping this channel keep going. So thank you.